how do we use it and allow it to transform us and turn it into an opportunity, turn it into possibility, turn it into innovation. And so, so oftentimes, you know, when we're struggling through it, it feels so horrible and you feel like a failure or you feel like, you know, you're a fraud or whatever the imposter syndrome thoughts you're going through, but instead recognize that, wait, you know, this is actually, I'm going through this so that I can be a healer for the world. I'm going through this pain so that I can um, help others with that pain. And I can actually, it can actually seed innovation. It actually, can actually seed new ideas um, to actually create the better that the world needs. And so, you know, oftentimes, you know, again, whether it's God or universe, um, you know, uses our private pain for public positive impact. And if we can see it that way, it's much easier to move through that season, right? And really think about what is this struggle or what is this season um, really challenging me to do? And so that's really what February has been about for me. And as we're all out there, you know, planning our 2021s with big dreams, and, and some of us are just trying to get through tomorrow or get through the week, um, I think that it is, you know, if you're going through that struggle, try to at some point, like recognize, recognize that that's a reactionary, that that struggle is a reactionary feeling and try to reframe it and shift it into, oh, wait, this could be a seed of opportunity. This could actually be happening for me. What, you know, where is this pain directing me? How can it transform me? And, and shift it to thinking and leading from your highest self, right? From your, your, your God or your universe-centered self. Um, get out of the reactionary and into the positive. 